हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज नील घाग एंड आई एम एन एप्लीकेशन इंजीनियर एट इंजीनियरिंग टेक्निक्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट हाउ टू चेक सिंक मार्क्स इन सॉलिड वर्क प्लास्टिक स्टिम्युलेशन एंड रेमिडीज टू सॉल्व इट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट वी विल स्टार्ट बाय नोइंग दैट वॉट आर द सिंक मार्क्स सिंक मार्क्स अकर्स ड्यूरिंग कूलिंग प्रोसेस एंड अपीयर हैज अ डिप्रेशन ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द मोल्डेड पार्ट फिगर इंडिकेट्स द सिंक मार्क्स प्रोड्यूस ऑन इट ड्यूरिंग द कूलिंग प्रोसेस नाउ लेट्स टर्म टू द सॉलिड वर्क टू फाइंड आउट द सिंक मार्क्स ऑन द मॉडल एंड द रेमिडीज टू सॉल्व इट सो हियर वी हैव टेकन वन मॉडल टू फील द कैविटी ऑफ इट एंड टू फाइंड सिंक मार्क्स सो क्लिक ऑन सॉलिड वर्क प्लास्टिक एंड क्रिएट वन न्यू स्टडी In the analysis procedure click shell and default study and click okay now we will apply material on the model has follow right click on the unit apply material and click on search bar you can search for material in the search bar we are applying asi chemical 120 and click okay so material is applied now we will apply the injection location from where the material will flow to the fill cavity right click on the boundary condition and select injection location select this point you can also predict the fill pattern by clicking this button this button will help you to predict the flow of the material in this cavity click okay now we will apply shell mesh to the model keep the surface mesh to default and change the refinement method to curvature based and click okay this will take some time to do meshing on the model the mesh is created on the model now this model is ready to solve click on run button and press fill it will take some time to solve the model now the results are ready to view you can also see how material is flowing inside the cavity to see the sink marks click on the sink marks here the marks you see in the green color are sink marks which produce due to the cooling effects now what are the remedies you can apply to reduce this sink marks let's see the molded temperature should be reduced reduce the thickness of the wall 
if your model contains rib the thickness of the rib should be 1 by 2 to 2 by 3 of the parent wall thickness if the rib contains some fillets the fillet should be 1 by 4 to 3 by 4 of the part thickness the draft angle should also be 1.5 to 2 degree per inch of rib length these are some of the remedies you can take care of during plastic simulation so let's see how we can apply these remedies to our model to reduce the sink marks go to the part customization tree here you can see that there are many fillets and ribs in this model so first we will edit the fillet 9 Here we will change the radius of the fillet to 0.25 mm. Then we will reduce the rib 1 thickness. Here change the thickness to 1 mm from 2 mm. Then reduce the thickness of rib 2. Here also we will change thickness to 1 mm. And also we will change the draft angle to 1 degree. We will also change the draft angle of rib 1 to 1 mm. Now all the required changes are done. Now let us rerun the analysis to see what are the effects of these changes on the sink marks. Click on run and click yes. Click yes to replace the old file. Now it will take some time to solve the results. The results are ready to view after doing the required changes. So now let's see the sink marks. You can observe that after doing the required changes 
the sink marks are reduced drastically so this is how you can view the sink marks in solid works plastic simulation and reduce it by doing required changes thank you